Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we're back in the Cyclist Tactics with our little tour uh, playthrough and we have come to the unicorn stage that is the second unicorn stage which is the cobble stage. Dickie's Raiders are on the prowl and there we go. Uh, that was the, th these are the overall results, um, stage results for this one were that as a recap. Um, just beat out the downhill, no, the, cl the climber level 12 and uh, <laughs> couldn't sprint against the downhill expert because Nicholas' legs were feeling like jelly at the end. He really got hit hard in recovery terms. I don't know if we can manage this next stage uh, all too well. He has a plus two in flat, so that will definitely help. Also, what will help is that the penalty is basically annihilated at that point, at this point, after the stage. They are burnt out, so the pace overall will probably be quite slow. Um, that doesn't hinder them from making stupid moves that are way too fast, uh, especially at the start. So, and that is why everyone here is a favorite now, because, uh, well, I, I managed their recovery pretty well, and the competitors have not. As a little bit of a recap here, this is your recovery stat. So how much um, energy you can regenerate within a stage, as well as um, how your thresholds look for recovery in percentage of your maximum energy. So uh, we went from 75% to 69% in that last stage with Niklas. That is uh, very bad, <laughs> very, very bad. But we did get back um, almost all our attack points and that is because this is a flat recovery for attack points, which only depends on your recovery stat. While this one is a changing percentage recovery, which also starts and, uh, and has a threshold according to uh, your recovery stat. And that's why Dicky despite coming in with 53 energy remaining, only got back up by 1% in recovery terms. 63% of his max energy will be recovered. Um, yes, okay. Enzo is doing very well though. He recovered two points. He's not up to his maximum anymore, uh, or not yet. Uh, he might be at the end of this stage because he does have a flat level 1 as well. Very important, very important. We do have a decent helper here. We made sure that he is in good shape for helping out on this stage. Very important for Niklas specifically. We do need someone to... And Dicky, he's supposed to win this thing. Um, the only thing that is worrying here is that he has no attack points. But that aside... Let us jump into this new stage. Okay, flat stage, light cobble stage even. Let's go. Ordering seems to be good. Uh, I don't really care. This should be playable, playable pretty quick. There's not that much in our way. And Enzo here, all move back into the peloton. Dicky, yes, everyone back into the peloton. Only Mr. Helper is left up front in the rain alone. Yes, there's no rain yet, but it really looks like rain very soon. That move is slow. Do we want to allow them to move that slowly? I think we move to at least there. Oh, there's an attack going with the favorite. And there's the rain. Okay. Um, or the, not the favorite, the, um, the actual leader of the race. Downhill expert level 12. He moved last, though. Hmm. He might have just latched onto them. We shall see how he reacts. We're already starting to recover a bit of energy here. Um, so this is nice. We just sign that off. These guys all move back to P3. And this stage, we just don't care about our helper rider. It's his job to make sure that all the others are regaining their strength or get just get to the end. For Nicholas, it will be a get to the end without too much hassle, if possible. Oh, okay, helper. So, um, they are there. 11 riders in this group. Downhill expert is still at the bottom. That is to be expected, but it looks like he's not joining the relay there. Otherwise, he would have moved up one spot. Not too sure about that yet. We shall find out. Wow, this is pissing hard. Um... So we are moving at the front, 
Yes, Penton is supposed to go there, but we can go a little bit further. Uh, I do want to make sure that we get a move on that gives us plenty of slipstream. Um, there's a zero bonus for this one. The next sector here is a mild technical sector, so we do want to jump it reasonably. Well, let's uh, just invest three energy. We want to put a bit of pressure on these escapees from the start. Not too much, just a little bit so that they get, get powered out. That they don't get too comfortable. Oof, big move by the peloton. Uh, this was grabbed by Stage Racer 7. The the points. Still playing on that same dev build as before. Uh, these will be made prettier and stuff, these tooltips. But they are already very handy in seeing what is going on. And uh, we will have some nicer UI for that in general. Also, just in general, more UI that helps you see what the current race situation is because that is currently severely lacking in this version as you if you have played the demo which of course down below there's the link to the store page not only wishlist of course but also play the demo and see how it plays at the moment um well you can see how it plays here right here but also see for yourself how it plays five energy move across the technical that's something that nicholas doesn't appreciate Yeah, it cost him free energy to move there, and Ansel free energy, and Dicky too. That was a pretty big move there. The next sector, again a technical section. Where's the first cobble sector? Oh, there it is. Through the forest. It's not Arnberg Forest, though. Um, that, that is fortunate. This is just a... Oh, what sec kind of sector is this? That looks like a two-star sector out of four. And that over here, in the end, that does look like a three-star sector. So this one will be tough. Oh, they've already lost two riders <laughs> out of the group in the first cobble sector. Is the Peloton going to try and jump it all? Uh, this is a mild cobble sector, and this is a medium cobble sector. Okay, so one star, two star, but linked. Um, not nice, but yes, the Peloton is, so far, not moving too hard. Let's see how Nicholas is doing. Everyone is recovering a bit more energy there. Oh, big move. Ouch. Across the cobble sector, full bore. Uh, 20. They went 20 nodes. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, the helper is suffering. Let's see how much slipstream the others are getting. Should be fine. We just use energy. Yeah, six energy. It uh, still hurts, though. That is a negative, negative one for the section, for that cobble sector. And yeah, he has plus two by default, right? That's a fl it's still flat, so he gets plus two, minus one for this sector, minus one for his penalty. So that's a two minus two, so zero, which is that number there. And then here it's a plus two, so his skill in flat, um, minus two for the sector strength, it's a two star, minus an additional one, so he gets a negative one there in total, so yeah, that's not great. Uh, five slipstream only. The slipstream is penalized uh, with the sector strength as well. If you're in a one star sector, that's minus one. If you're in a two star sector, that's minus two. Now, what the fuck is going on? They are powering through these sectors. That is nasty. That's another move of 21. Well, they sure are putting the pe the pressure on these SKPs. They will be suffering up front. Maybe the yellow jersey that way really loses time. This is, by the way, super stupid. I'm aware of this, that the yellow jersey would attack like that. That makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> but yeah, there, there is no actual AI for determining roles throughout a tour yet at this point. We're going to implement those pretty soon. Uh, to make some some smarter decisions about who's going to attack and so on. But uh, yeah, it's a little funny to see that they are burning themselves out like this. Uh, yeah, we are in dire need of catching up to the relay, otherwise we can't hinder them from making really stupid slow moves. Uh, something like this, for instance. This is a stupid, stupid slow move. Because not only do we get one less uh, free movement, but also this one is free. It is free for me because I have a plus one and flat, of course, but uh, yeah, still. Oh, what do we see here? 
Oh, downhill expert level 12 has been dropped from the escapees. Oh, what a wonderful day. Um, yeah, Baroudeur level 12 in here is super dangerous. He might be able to just power through and take it. Um, but, yes, well, the Peloton is still making pretty strong moves. Trying to catch up with the escapees. Well, these guys are completely fucking dead. Look at this stage racer guy. Stage racer level 10, 10 energy. <laughs> Ouch, yeah, he also has a negative one in cobble. So I really need to make sure with my helper that... Um, oh, was was he maybe in the escape group and got dropped? That could, that could be the case. Yeah, that could be the case. Um, so I need to make sure that my helper stays up here and continues to pull if need be. Oh, and now we've left behind the yellow jersey guy because I made a catch-up move from from there to there. A little nasty by me. But he should have had the option to catch up. I assume he's in rest mode and doesn't want to do any catch-ups anymore. Not even the Heinz one. Yeah. Um, so we have another cobble sector coming up. That's just a, a one-star sector, though, so it's not too bad. Okay, he has rejoined us. So that's nice. He's now on the wheel of Dicky Mechspec. So excellent, excellent slipstream there. The Peloton is quite far behind at this point. I don't approve of this move because that will mean that we have another penalty next turn. So I'm going to invest another point of energy here. Or no, three points more of energy there. Just to make it a bit more affordable for Niklas the next turn. And that is really something that you need to um, think about when you're doing teamwork like this. You want to move with your helper into the peloton into spots where your lead rider gets the best out of it. Um, so even if it's not optimal for the helper himself. And by the way, we have a really smart way of dealing with that for the AI. The AI actually does that already. So what they do is that the helper gets the calculated desirability heat map of the leader who he's helping. So he sees where his leader wants to move, not where he himself wants to move. So that's pretty cool. I'm getting a little worried about these guys though. They're still going strong. And they are way ahead. Uh, like how far ahead? I don't know because the, the switch button for the overview is gone at the moment. We are working on getting that one back. Uh, there is an overview mode implemented and stuff. It just doesn't show, <laughs> which is not helpful. Um, so, yes, let's move there. We need to start moving a little harder now. Okay, planning the next move or two. There's the there's a one-star sector coming up, and that is another one-star sector. Not too bad. It can be somewhat ignored, but... Um, Let's see how we best move across this regardless. I do want to end up there, so if I move like this, then... Or there, rather. Then this should be perfect. Splitting the move into two. Now we go to the start of the cobble sector right there. To get the 12 free movement. That cost us zero, that's excellent. And then in the next move we jump all <laughs> over it all. And now, ooh, there the lead riders come come forward, or the lead outriders rather. They should be a bit fresher than the rest. Oh yes, there's some more power in this peloton. Um, we need to make sure to move up a little. Hmm, maybe Niklas as well as Dicky want to move up. Niklas maybe not so much. He can save himself for the final hilly stage and the time trial, but Dicky definitely of course needs to move up. And so he is just happy to roll along. He could work as our leadout rider. Although, no, he doesn't have any speed, so he's not a good leadout. Uh, Niklas is the perfect leadout rider because he has plenty of attack and energy, but he can't sprint for shit. <laughs> he's just good at pulling the leadout train. It's great. Um, because you do want to have a lot of attack per turn when you're doing the leadout train because every two attack you use in a move block one node ahead of you. Uh, with momentum blocking. So that means that he indeed is the perfect leadout rider. Um, yes, I think I move both forward. But there's this damn cobble sector that 
yeah, the three star sector coming up out of four. This is a little nasty, rough cobblestone, irregular, difficult, large cobbles that make a very tricky to ride road. Performance is affected by the rider's cobble trait, yes. Um, so that sector will be quite bad, especially for Niklas. But that means that we wouldn't want to move forward before that sector comes, as otherwise we won't get the chance to, because behind the sector is already sprint time. So now we just need to make sure that we are moving. Yeah, E1 is there, they are losing more and more riders. That's perfect. Uh, we do want to make sure that we land on the um, a node that allows us to not have the cobble penalty next the turn, and that is exactly the last node of the cobble sector. And that is also better than the next node, so it's, let's move there. My helper is getting very low. Let's move him back a bit and hope that some of the leadout riders are coming up. This was another easy move, so we can easily move up. And there we have Niklas as our leadout and Dicky as our sprinter. Oh, now they start moving. Now they start moving hard. Yeah, that was a big move. Um, plenty of slipstream there. That's great. Let's see how bad it is for the for my other two riders who now are in P1. Three. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. My helper just got nuked. Um, Peloton wanted to move not there, to, but to there, which I can understand. That's a decent move to make. But I think my helper is just done for the day now. He just moves there. And we don't need him anymore because uh, now Niklas and Dicky are at the front and they can react to things that are happening. So yeah, let's move to here and hopefully survive the cobble sector. Let's go. Are you guys ready? Right, let's Let's see what happens. I think they are going to move across pretty hard, at least to there. Oh, E1 is getting nuked! E1 is getting nuked, they got stuck! They got stuck in the cobbles. They were not up for the task. Yes, okay, Peloton just over overran them. Like, hard. Uh, that is a big move for Niklas. An 8-3. And Dicky, also an 8-3. You have zero in cobble. Ah, but just one one in flat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it comes out as the same. Yep. Is there anything else that is in the way? I don't think there is, right? So there is nothing. No. Absolutely nothing. Now it's just straightforward. Power through. <laughs> Barodeur level 10 is leading out. And holy shit, he's still strong. Yeah, he can power. He can proper properly power through this. Rouleur level 8, that was the favorite to win. And look at his... Holy shit, he's still so strong. 69 in... Nice. Uh, 69 in energy and 18 attack. Yeah, he is the one to beat in this sprint. Um, and this situation is one of those where we will have an additional marker on screen to show you what the fuck is going on. Because the Peloton's move turn is up, right? So, and we don't see anything here. Well, someone moved there, but they moved to actually there. Yes, which is off screen. And momentum blocked in front. That was a move that used six attack points. Yeah, okay. And he has more of that in him. <laughs> oh, man. I hope he does a proper lead out across the line. Um, the AI is still wonky in that, but uh, in the rain. Beautiful. Let's uh, go. Let's go. Let's go. And Dicky, follow my wheel. This is your sprint. And uh, this is Enzo. Do you want to follow? Yeah, yeah, it's easy. Easy follow. But now we need to search for the correct wheel. Where is it? We have the climber. Was it this guy? Yes. So I think we want to be on his wheel. So let's go there. Um, somewhere there. Yes, his wheel is attached, and it's Niklas, and now we take Dicky as well. Okay, should be fine. And yes, there's the big move. There's the big move. Roller level 8 is currently at the front. This was our lead out. He moved decently far, and these momentum block nodes are from velocity of the main bunch sprint. So now no one can really pass anymore. This is impossible. Um, 
Oh wait, is it impossible? 25, this is blocking to 31. And that's from a 10 base movement. So that is a very, very harsh move. At this stage in the tour, it's unlikely that anyone still has that, unless they were playing really smart. So yes, we are in this situation. And now you will see, oh yes, there, there, he has added, Orang level 10 has added two velocity and Rouleur level eight has still added one extra. That's why more nodes are blocked. Um, so now Niklas is, can still move, but he can only move to there. And of course he doesn't want to because we don't want to spend any more attack. We don't care about um, the points here. They get the same time. We're in the same stack. So let's sign him off there. And now comes the Dicky. The Dicky McSpeck. And he should get 12 points to spend because it's 8 he has and then an additional 4 from being a level 3 sprinter. So that's mighty powerful. Let's see what happens. Yes, 12. He has spent 0 so far because the move only took 8 energy. So we move 1, 2, 3. Then we have to overcome his velocity, which is 3. Boom, costs us 3 attack points. And then we have to overcome his velocity, which is 2. Now we're at 8. And now we say... Um... Do we have anyone else behind us? So now the real question should be, who's left? Like, who's left in here? And who's on my wheel? This is also something that we will have to display in the UI, really. Um, but, yes, what, what I'm wondering is how much attack do we need for the next stage? Do we get away with this situation here and only spend 8 out of 12. I'm not so sure. I don't think there were any big sprinters behind us. And I mean, Niklas has clogged up the, clogged up the system there with the train. And now we are an additional point to, to go to the front. And we've used 8 to get here. So it would take 9 attack points to get to the front. If we increase the velocity by one, it would take 10. Um, or, yeah, it would take 10 attack points to get to the front. And I don't think anyone has that there. Uh, but then we would only have four attack points left. So I think I'm going to chance it and go with just this. Just inch past the ruler level eight. Let's, let's go and try that out. Okay. And did we manage? Yes, we are still in the front. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Now, Ensel doesn't care about finish time, so what we're going to do is just roll into the finish here and conserve some energy. There we go, roll across the line. No, I'm not going to sprint in that group. I'm just slowly moving along with my helper, trying to recuperate a little bit of energy as we go along, like three each time there. Well, well a little bit, quite, quite a lot, but not um, exploiting the situation. We've been moving quite hard, so the time limit would be a fair bit behind at this point. And time limit is, of course, something that is going to be re-added to the game. There was a time limit before, before the demo version came out. Uh, we had it removed for testing purposes, basically. And, yeah, it just makes sense to have it there. Um, and that will speed up some of the, the groups there and uh, prevent exploits from happening as well. 34 energy, not great, but... Um, Let's say we get to yeah, pretty close to 40 there, or 40 exactly, and that should be fine. Now yeah, 41 even. Okay, let's move across. There we go. And there we have it. What a nice sprint victory by Dicky McSpeck. A little bit on the uh, dodgy side with not wanting to spend any extra attack. It was not necessarily safe, as when you don't see who's on your wheel. I should have checked that before. And in future versions of the game, of course, there will be UI to show you who's on your wheel, and then you can just tell, is anyone actually capable of doing it? And if they're capable, would they want that? So, um, interesting there. But uh, this is looking excellent. And look at that. Now Niklas Svensson is actually two turns ahead of the next best rider and uh, 
That poor little guy who went out in the escape group, the, the yellow jersey. That's a stupid thing to do. Uh, the, the tour AI really needs a revamp. No, not a revamp, an actual write first. Not a, not a rewrite, a write, because ju ju it just doesn't exist yet. So, um, yeah. Expected uh, outcome then, in that case, really. Niklas last in the group. Everyone outsprinted him, which is not surprising. And we are now, at, after 96.11 turns into this tour, he is leading by two turns. Beautiful. Stage summary, please. And, oof. Oof, look at all these favorites. <laughs> Their strength ratings are coming down, apart from this guy. He seems to be going really strong still. Um, let's take a look at recovery. Niklas lost a point. But he recovered fully, so that's good. And he is up to 29 attack points now, so he is pretty well recovered overall. And he will be able to do well in this stage too. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's really it then for, for that. And he should be fit for the time trial then. This, this is such a... Such a brutal time trial. He needs to really show his strength then. At that point, we need to be at max recovery of all the stats because this one is going to take a lot of energy and a lot of attack. Like, all the attack and a lot of his energy. So we do want to be at max energy just because that gives us the maximum um, energy per turn values as well. Don't forget that they decay as you lose energy. So, yeah, this is looking very solid for what we have in mind for our plans and oh there you go there you go dicky is actually leading in the green jersey now by one point this is very spread out um and that is because also there is no ai just yet for determining that oh i'm the designated sprinter of the team i will try to grab those points it's all just yeah whatever um so yeah that doesn't help that doesn't make this more of a challenge, does it? But uh, I think so far it's showing nicely how the core systems work in the game. And then the AI, the two AI being added will take care of all that. And we are gaining a lot of points here. Right now we are looking at a total score of 1,935 points if we hold these positions. We shall see about that though. Um, we definitely have won the Climbers jersey. Uh, because there's only one uh, third category climb left in the whole tour. So that was good. And yes, I think we are going to continue with this stage in a pretty long one. Um, a little bit of a punch there towards the end. We're going to uh, continue with that one in the uh, upcoming episode. So I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.